How many rides have you given so far? This is actually my very first ride. Wow. And we're both minorities too, so we're like making history. Absolutely. By now, you already know how Pokemon Go works. You walk to get to different Pokemon or to stop at a Pokestop, but it's a little warm outside today and it might rain, so instead, I'm gonna hitch a ride. Let's take off on this. Right. This is the famous Chicago Lakeshore Drive. The idea was to provide a rideshare sort of service to people who are um, very enthused about playing Pokemon. Isn't this kind of like cheating? Here's the thing, um, you get tired of walking around, what do you do? Moving around in a car is a lot more secure and also it helps you get further if there's been a recorded sighting of like some kind of legendary Pokemon. <laughs> what would be a, a legendary Pokemon? Well, I would say Moltres, Articuno, Zapdos. Um, those are the Those are three. actual Pokemon names. Yep. Wait, there's a guy right there. Sorry, okay. that's a drowsy. You gotta hold it in the circle and you, you snag them. Nice! So I've caught a Charmander, I've caught, caught a Weedle, uh -huh. and a Rattata. And I hate my outfit too. There's all kinds of rumors swirling that, oh, you, you can find fire type Pokemon at a gas station. <laughs> but I went to two gas stations yesterday. No Pokemon. No Pokemon there. <laughs> okay, how do I get to this map? Do I press like the Pokemon? I think my guy's an idiot. He's just like walking in circles. Mm -hmm. Have you met anybody that's like met someone special through Pokemon Go? Oh yeah, apparently uh, people are hooking up, meeting through Pokemon Go too. I'm waiting for that thank piece. Pokemon yep. Go help me and then fill in the blank. Right. Pokemon Go help me get laid. I guess now it's Pokemon and a uh, Pokemon Go and chill. Right. <laughs> yeah.